Hey guys, it's Nikki from Still Moments Nursery. I'm just about to do Nathan's box packing because he's found a new mum. So he needs to have his box packing done so he can be um, in the post and on his way home um, to her tomorrow. So this is Nathan. She, she actually decided to call him Nathan. She requested um, his name. So um, I think Nathan really suits him. So there he is. And his little hand is just precious. If you guys watched my earlier vlogs, you would have noticed that Nathan was in um, the interview that I did with the 6.30 with George Negus report. Um, it's going to be airing in about a week, so if you follow me on Facebook, I'll be able to put a link into their website um, so you guys can watch it. Um, I'm not sure internationally if you guys will be able to see it, but um, we'll see what we can do um, to have you guys watching it as well. So Nathan's going to be coming home. Um, I'm going to leave him in this little outfit that he's in now for his trip home. So he's got um, his little bib, which has got the animal print on it, and a light blue top, which has also got the animal print um, on it as well. And it's long sleeve, so it's going to protect his little limbs um, during his journey. He's got little white pants um, with a little animal print um, all over them, and his little white pair of socks and he's going to be wrapped up in um, that little outfit so his mum will be um, presented with him like that. He's also coming home with a magnetic dummy and it's got a little hippo on it. There's a little hippo and he's also got a matching pair of um, light blue mittens to protect his little hands. He's got a um, beanie hat which has got the same animal print as his um, little pants and he's got two other outfits so he's got a grow suit which is, again has got the same little animal print um, as his little pants so it's a matching set which is just adorable and a little white t-shirt so he could be put in that and have his little nappy sort of st just sticking out because he's got the full legs as well so that looks adorable He's also going home with a brush and comb set and the brush and comb set's got a little ladybug on it. So it sort of fits in with his animal um, print. Um, he's got four nappies. Um, again, they're the Winnie the Pooh theme, so they're the uh, favourite ones. So again, Winnie the Pooh. He's got a little bottle of baby powder so his mum can make him smell all nice and baby-like. Um, just the ribbon from the blanket um, that I'm going to tie around one of his little parcels. His little 3D baby book. So I've actually um, finished this one so you guys can see um, a finished product. So basically what I do is I tie them with um, nice little bits of ribbon. Um, this one is a three page book so um, he's got his little photos, um, all his name, um, our heading um, from the website. He's got all his details. So when he was when he was reborn, the doll kitties, how heavy, um, and all his hair, um, and all the details that his mum needs to know. And I've put on these little um, 3D stickers that just sort of um, make it a little bit more uh, visual. Um, and then on this side, he's got all his clothing and another um, one of my favourite photos. I've actually signed this one down here. And uh, a few more photos and just his care instructions so his mum knows how to look after him. And that's just how um, the 3D baby book is presented. So that one's actually finished, like I said, so it's got the nice ribbon ties. Um, and his mum can have that displayed um, with him. But I've just popped on little stickers as well, just on the front. Um, to sort of you know, let people know that he's a little boy. And, of course, his little baby blanket, which he's going to be wrapped up in um, to go home. So I'll just go and wrap all of his outfits up and wrap his dummy up in some um, got some nice tissue paper, paper here. So it's going to look nice um, in his box. So I'll just go and wrap everything up and um, wrap him up as well. So Because you guys have seen me wrap um, all my babies up. So what I'm going to do is wrap him up um, first and just sort of put, put him into the box um, on how he's going to be going home.
he's all wrapped up. I'm just going to put him into his box. I'll just make sure he fits. And bring that top bit of his um, blanket so his head's going to be protected. And we'll just work his way. Work him in. in his box. So I reckon I'm going to put all of his um, little goodies down on the end because his um, head area is taking up a lot of room. So I'm going to not put anything on top of his head. So I'm just going to put everything sort of down here. So, okay. Okay, so I've wrapped up his, um, that's his dummy. So I've put the little bit of ribbon around um, that little parcel. And another little parcel has got all of his um, clothing and outfit. Um, I'm just going to put in the baby powder um, just like that because it looks, um, you know, nicely presented um, just like that. And they're really cute. I love these little ones. Um, his nappies, again, are just going to be sort of just put um, over the top of him just um, as space fillers because you don't want your dolls um, sort of moving around in the box because um, that is how they get damaged. So try and sort of fill up. Um, the box as much as possible to stop them sort of bouncing around. Um, his brush and comb set, um, I'm going to see if I can sort of leave it in um, the casing. If I can't, I'll just um, take it out and sort of put it down the side. Um, his um, 3D baby book, um, that'll be put in with all of his order details um, in a nice envelope to protect it. And um, then he will be wrapped up and shipped off to his mum tomorrow. So. The first parcel, I'm just going to put the bigger one just sort of down the bottom there. So that's going to take up sort of half the box. And then his little dummy, I'm going to put that just sort of down. Actually, I'm going to put the baby powder. I'm just going to sit that down just in, sort of just beside his face there. Um, his little dummy, I'm just going to put that just over top so you can see it. So just so you can see the little bow sort of sticking up. There you go, you can see his face. His diapers, I'm going to just pop them. Well, actually, his brush and comb set, I'm just going to put that down um, the bottom there. So just over his little feet. Let's bend that back down. There we go. So that actually sits nice. It might overlap that just a little bit. So just covering his feet and then his um, clothing pack is on top. And then with his diapers, I'm just, or his blanket, I'm just going to cover his little face. So then his mum can have a little sort of sneak peek um, before she gets him out. Okay guys, so there is his box, it's all ready. So his little head is under these two nappies here. His clothing is all wrapped in um, a nice little blue bit of tissue paper so his mum um, you know gets a nice little surprise when she opens it and then his brush and comb set and his little diaper um, is down covering his little feet and his dummy and everything um, is down just by his face so then what I will do um, like I said I'll put this into a nice envelope but that will just sit flat on top so um, that's not going to get bent or anything like that and um, basically all I need to do after I have finished that is just fold over these. Um, I'll fold over the blue bits first um, and then I'll fold over the white bits and, um, and it's basically like um, opening a little parcel. Alright guys so that's how I do my box packing of Nathan um, and this is how his mum will be receiving him. So what I've got left to do is um, like I said I've just got to put his um, details um, or, sorry, his order details and his 3D baby book um, into an envelope so it stays flat. Um, and then I will just bring over these, the two blue ones, I'll bring them over first um, and then I'll bring over the white ones um, sort of to present to his mum. Wish Nathan a safe journey home. He's not going very far because his mum is in Australia. So, um, and again, Nathan was the TV baby um, for the interview that I did 
um, a couple of days ago. Um, if you guys haven't sort of um, been following me on Facebook, pop over there. I'll put a link in the descriptions bar below um, and you can follow me and I'll put the link to when the story will be on sort of their website uh, and s sort of see if you guys can watch it. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for that. So um, wish Nathan a safe journey home. Um, he'll be in the mail tomorrow for his mum and yeah, it'll be ex exciting to sort of see him on his way. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.